Hey guys, it's Brett here, Poor Man's News. A um, few things that I wanted to talk to you about. Um, well, there's a number of things. I've got a couple sheets here. Uh, decided to come outside. It's too daggone warm to be just sitting in the house, if you know what I mean. Um, I've been working a lot, so I haven't really got a chance to get on here too much at all, which I'm sure all of you noticed that. Um, a lot of strange things have happened to me over the last two months. Um, I probably won't discuss that right now, but um, anyway, uh, to get on, on with the things, you notice May 1st was yesterday, and there were a number of uh, protesters out and about, but uh, there's a significant part of May 1st that people don't understand. Maybe maybe they do. I don't know. But uh, May 1st, 1776 was the uh, birth of the Illuminati. I will make sure and link to that below uh, the video, just as I always do. Just click the show more and uh, you'll be able to see that along with uh, all these bills that I want to talk to you about. Um, Hmm. Yeah, I noticed uh, HR six five eight, the FAF, FF, yeah FAA Air and Transportation Modernization Safety Improvement Act. Uh, that passed a while back, which uh, you probably knew about it already. If you don't, uh, it's to have thirty thousand spy drones over the uh, United States of America by the year two thousand fifteen. Um, I believe it was like a 69 billion dollar bill. Uh, of course, I believe there's 3,000, uh, something like 3,033 counties in the U.S. That's about 10 drones per county, you know, give or take. Uh, so I thought I'd talk to you about that for a second here. Uh, if you want to talk about true tyranny. Uh, spy drones flying over you all the time. You'll you'll never know, uh, you know, who's listening to you or checking you out or or what. But that's just one of the tyrannical uh, bills that had, had passed. Uh, and of course, then we have Senate Bill 1867. Uh, Senate Bill 1867 uh, was passed and actually signed by President Barack Hussein Obama. December 31st, 2011. There's a reason why, where, I, where I'm going with this. Um, and that is the, uh, basically, you know, there have been people that have argued with me about this bill saying it's not for Americans. In subsection, or yeah, under section 1021 of the NDAA, it says for nationals who are allegedly committed to, or merely a suspect, uh, sympathizing or providing any level of support to groups uh, the U.S. designates as terrorist terrorist organization, whatever they deem as terrorist, um, or affiliate, uh, may be imprisoned without charge, trial, or until the uh, hostilities uh, uh, subsided. But, in uh, section 1022, this is the important one. The law actually covers U.S. persons. The section allows open-ended executive judgment with regard of uh, handling U.S. Uh, persons. In other words, the detention of U.S. persons is optional rather than a uh, requirement uh, for U.S. persons. So yes, yes it does cover U.S. citizens. Uh, then we have Bill H.R. 347. Um, this is the Federal Restricted Buildings and Grounds Improvement Act of uh, 2011. Uh, it, was, it was passed unanimously uh, in the Senate. And, um, yeah, the, pa the bill passed 388 to 3. But the problem with this bill is... Uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's very vague on, um, on what they're talking about. 
uh, you're not allowed to protest at uh, an important event uh, where, uh, you know, a political person's going to be or, or whatever. But, I mean, there again, it's, it's real vague about the wording of it. I'll make sure and link to all these bills so you can check them out for yourself or if you uh, have anything to add to what I'm saying, um, you could uh, rebut or whatever. Uh, then we uh, have CISPA. CISPA passed last week. You know, this, this allows the military and the NSA to spy on Americans on American soil and that pretty much just goes against uh, anything this country was founded upon. By the way, did you guys know that uh, there were U.S. troops in the streets of Crookston, Minnesota? Uh, that's in violation of the Posse Comitatus Act right there. I'll make sure and link to that article as well. And of course I see uh, Mr. Terrorist Bill Ayers was over at the uh, talking to, I believe it was University of Oregon, uh, talking to students over there this uh, the other day and said uh, America's game is over and another world is coming. Uh, I'll let you uh, check that out and see what you think. Then uh, I, I noticed that uh, Israel, they called up uh, six, six army battalions up under uh, emergency orders uh, because the growing threat of Egypt and uh, Syrian borders. So, things are heating up. Anyway, the reason why I was talking about these bills is that uh, I talk to people all the time and they say, well, when do you think everything's going to go down? When do you think it's already going down? It's going down right in front of you and me. Right here. It's already happening. All it's going to take is, you know, one one major emergency, and all these all these bills, all these laws that they're passing, it's going to go against you and me. I could go on and on about all the bills, but America is being taken away from you right now, our way of life. And come to think about it, Germany. It's, I mean, this reminds me of Germany, uh, and the reason why I say that, it was, it was done over a period of time after, after um, Hitler had taken power, uh, after the uh, fire of the Ragstaff building, yeah, it was a false flag event, of course, you guys already know about that, probably, but uh, once, once they took over, uh, you know, they wanted to make sure that there's no threats to them and their homeland, per se, um, and before you know it, all this stuff that they, they were doing was over a period of time. By the time the uh, German people woke up to what was really going on, they were too daggone scared to even talk to their neighbors or their family about what was happening in, uh, in the fear of being turned in. So, that's what's happening here. You know, you're just looking at two, you know, two, three years of these bills passing, um, you know, some of them very recent, Patriot Act, you know, passed, you know, what, five years ago or six years ago, but, you know, this is being done incrementally, so all I can say is just prepare, prepare yourself, prepare your families, prepare your friends, and make sure and spread the word. That is why I always try to put links to the information for you guys. Um, sure, there's a lot of people that won't even read what you tell them. Won't even read. Yeah, there's going to be people you'll go out and you'll print the stuff out. And they'll say, oh, this ain't real. Well, you know what? They say ignorance is bliss, but ignorance will kill you. Anyway, you guys have a good day.